Hey mentors, welcome to Zebra Tarot. You are now in the Zebra Tarot Lounge and I thank you for traveling through the jungles of time and space with me. We are right now going home to the kingdom, queendom of heaven within. It's within you, it's within myself, it's within each and every one of us wild animals out there. And what that looks like is unique to each and every one of us. It's not one size fits all, it's very, much so depends on what your kingdom queendom of heaven within looks like for you what are your ultimate hopes dreams wishes desires all of that so if you don't know what those ultimate dreams hopes wishes desires are yet and this would be a good time to start getting to know yourself start to imagine and ask yourself what those ultimate desires and things like that maybe we have now stepped into or we are right now stepping into the age of aquarius and where we're going is so beautiful it's beautiful beyond words it's very love based very pure reality full of ultimate abundance freedom joy laughter play peace and more control all good things all right, my Taurus, I'm not really sure what's going to come out, but thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, stopping by, and we'll go ahead and we'll get into it. Now we'll pull some cards, and we'll see what's coming out for your week ahead. Then again, if the title did bring you in here, then uh, there's a very good chance that this could resonate with you. If it sounds like I'm talking directly to you, I very well could be. My intentions are that these readings reach exactly whomever they need to reach at exactly the right times so that they need to reach you. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Lies by Light, I invite you in now. I ask for clear, concise messages for the Taurus, whoever is watching for the week ahead, whatever they need to know for the best and the highest good of everyone involved. Please shine some light on their situation, illuminate any dark spots, uh, and uh, let us know what we need to know. Two of Wands. Be feeling some nostalgia right now, having some memories. Maybe you're putting out fires, so, um, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Last Friday Night, man. Two more cards, please, for my beautiful door selection. What do they need to know for the weekend? All right, more ones, eight of ones. I'm getting, like, a what's standing out between these two oh, we'll, we'll clarify we'll see but there's a feminine here female uh gender does not matter but feminine and there's a masculine here looks like this one's fighting some fires or got some bow and arrow here and this one's look like they're fighting some spiritual battles here that's what's coming to me we'll again we'll clarify more so we'll see what's coming out three of cups on the bottom of the deck, flip it over. Emotional abundance, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that out. Uh, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Size for Light. May I have a card, please, for the overall energy? Nine of Pentacles, all right. Uh, this is financial gain. This is you being good on your own and able to want for nothing, being able to pay the bills and have plenty left over to be able to save or invest as you so choose. Or this could just mean to pride, satisfaction, achievement, and a job well done. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Size by Light. I have a clarifier for this uh, overall energy, this Nine of Pentacles for my Taurus this week, whoever is watching. Well, the Queen of Cups go out. This is someone who is very abundant, very abundant emotionally. I'm almost getting like the king and the queen here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the king of pentacles comes out, but uh, the Queen of Cups here, this is someone very nurturing, very 
someone's just sitting on their throne and uh, feeling very good emotionally. The other card that flew out was this five of wands. This could be a competition or teamwork, but it looks like there's a lot of fighting there in the cards, and that's what I'm getting again here with the, this one looks like they're fighting fires or they're fighting with their bow and arrow. The, they're fighting sort of like this. There's the line, the battle line right there, and then the Eight of Wands, she's fighting the spiritual warfare with her. Tower is flipped up. In the bottom of the deck, there could be a tower coming in. Ace of Cups, 555 was on the clock. Uh, Ace of Cups, this is a brand new beginning. It could be spiritual healing, physical healing, emotional healing. Getting strongly emotional healing. A lot of emotions coming out here. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Size, Twilight. I have uh, a couple more cards for my toys for the week ahead. What do we need to know? Anyways, they need to know for the best and highest good. Now, I'm not really feeling like these cards want to come out here. Let's switch back to this deck. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Size, Twilight. I have another card, please. That one is fly out. Went right on top of the candle. Oh my goodness, Queen of Cups from the other deck. This happens all the time, actually. Um, Holy Spirit, help me to make it make sense. This is, I want to say this is you this week. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Sia, Spite Light. May I have a card, please, on whatever sort of battle they're fighting and what's going on here with this fighting this week? What do they need to know? What do they need to know, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, for the fighting this week? There we go. Well, that's not really giving me too much information specifically about what the fighting is. It's probably going to be different for each and every one of you all because we are all one body. And we sort of play out the same storyline, but we also are unique. We maintain our uniqueness, our sovereignty, our um, identity, if you want to call it that. So even though we all may be playing out the same story, we're all each individually, we're playing it out in our own unique way. So uh, whatever this fighting is, it's gonna be a little bit different. I, I feel like for each person watching, each wild animal watching, but with the Wheel of Fortune flying out, I'm just getting very strongly and have been getting very strongly. This is all turning out in your favor, especially with the Ace of Cups, emotional healing, spiritual healing. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Sias, Twilight. I have uh, another card piece for my course, whatever they need to know for the week ahead. This uh, Sun card was actually flipped over in the deck. It's getting really strongly the Sun card with there's the masculine and the feminine here. Masculine and the feminine. Sun card, Will of Fortune. Happiest card in the deck. Have y'all been praying for something lately, recently? I feel like your prayers are really powerful right now, really on point right now. And uh, I feel like the universe, God source, divine most high angels, whatever you want to call it, guardian angels, they're all listening, just waiting on you to ask to receive. And uh, you've probably been praying for help, asking for help, whatever it may be, but your prayers are being heard and definitely being answered. Holy Spirit, guardian angels, by eyes, by light, I have noticing like little hearts too in the flames of the candle. So maybe this is something to do with love for y'all. Love is the highest vibration. It's the highest uh, 
It's the most powerful, most healing energy in all of creation. God is love and love is God. And uh, as we step into this new earth, higher dimensionally, this age of Aquarius, we're moving to this very love-based reality. So it's good. Have to do with love. Holy Spirit, guardian angels, lies by light. Um, make it a card, please, for where my tourists are going to be at by the end of the week, what kind of energy they're going to be in by the end of the week. You king ones, all right. I like it. So you may be the masculine energy watching, you don't have to be, but um, by the end of the week, you're probably going, maybe feeling just very empowered, very balanced, very responsible. And also to the charis King Wands is very charismatic. So I'm getting, you're going to just, I feel like you're going to, words are going to come easy for you, whether it's a job interview, whether it's uh, whatever situation you're going to be in by the end of the week, I feel like words are just gonna flow and you're going to be so confident about it and you're, however it needs to fit. Um, also too, by the end of the week, this is you. I've, I feel like you put your bow and arrow away and now you've jumped on your horse and you've grabbed the torch. And you're jumping over the flames. You're like, you're leaving the battle zone, the war area, where you're like, peace, I'm out. Me and my horse. Hangman flipped up on the bottom of the deck. You could be seeing things from a completely different new perspective by the end of the week. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Sly, Spotlight. I have a card please for anything my tourists need to look out for this week, anything that they need to look out for this week. Oh, well, yeah, you definitely want to look out for that. Um, <laughs> what's coming to mind is when this came out, I was like, Duh. of course you want to avoid that. But I was like, spirit, what does this mean? And uh, I just get in. Don't stay too long. Um, that was what's, what's coming to me. I feel like if you stay too long, the longer you stay, these arrows, these swords or whatever, are just going to one by one go into your back and it's going to well, stay as long as you want. But uh, I feel like the longer you stay, the more swords are going to go on your back. It looks like no, there's only a couple more spots left for swords. Ten slot. The Emperor, though. Uh, judgment. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel, Sly, Spotlight, does this uh, make it a card just to clarify for love, just a, a card for love if this does have to do with love. Uh, well, it's for you to know this could be, you know, love can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different wild animals and uh, a lot of different Taurus is watching. But this Four of Cups, it flew out and it landed on the Wheel of Fortune card. It landed on the Ace of Cups, which is emotional healing, a brand new beginning, the divine pouring into. And it landed on this Three of Cups. Here's the universe right here. Ready when you are to give you this cup. Maybe you're fighting it. Maybe she's fighting it. Maybe he's fighting it. I don't know, but when you're ready, whoever you are, 
the universe has this cup to deliver to you. Maybe last week you've decided what you desired, what you wanted, and maybe now it's ready to come in. Uh, whatever it is, there is something waiting for you to come in. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, I my light. Last cards, I have uh, last cards, last messages, any final cards for my Taurus watching for the week ahead, whatever it is that they need to know. Page of Swords. I don't know why this is coming to me like this, but it's like going from the Ten of Swords back to the page. It's like uh, 10 completion and then going back, starting a new, starting a new cycle. That's what, that's what I'm getting with the Page of Swords, going from that 10 to the 1. And You're gonna know what this is if you've been fighting something that's ready to be let go of, uh, giving energy, giving attention to it. Um, it's when you're ready, come out of it, and uh, it, all it's doing is is just putting swords in your back. That's all it's doing, and. Uh, as soon as you're ready to come out of it, there's like blessings right here, ready to come in for you, or they're already here. Maybe even, maybe it's just waiting for you to take your attention, focus off that past stuff that's putting swords in your back. No more fighting, whether it's physical fighting, spiritual warfare that you're fighting. No more fighting. As soon as you take your attention, focus off that, and you bring it on to the new, then all of these beautiful things will be right here for you. Receiving a gift, I'm getting that. You're receiving a gift. All right, my Taurus, thanks for watching. Um, thank you too to all my beautiful new subscribers. We really are going home to this kingdom, queendom of heaven within, and uh, just continue to think about your deepest, most deepest desires that really light you up inside. What would that look like for you if you were home right now in the kingdom of heaven? What would be the first thing that you would want to do or experience or? All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching and uh, my email is in the description box below if you would like a free personal reading.